So as you guys probably have noticed, I haven't been uploading much within the past few months, six months. I, I don't remember. I haven't checked. Probably should have checked. Anyways, so the last video I posted was a vlog. If you can call it a vlog, I never show my face on purpose. I might show my face someday, but essentially, um, I left a link to my test forums in the description and anyone who actually read my last post on there would know I stopped working on my test news. I made the intro and life got in the way after that. I managed to squeeze out that little bit of animation and then that was it. And then life got in the way and then I lost all creative energy for the project and I was just done for a while. I just, I was, so like, I work in bursts, and some of you will understand that. Some of you will understand what that means. For those who don't, essentially some people like myself work in bursts. We don't have creative energy all the time, and we don't never have it. Like I can be very creative despite the fact that I'm pretty terrible at drawing without graphing supplies, and actually I don't even know if I can give an example of that because I have no idea where my drafting supplies are. But essentially, it's like when you're watching a movie, you get all inspired and excited and you're like, oh man, this is awesome. And sometimes you'll get like an idea and you'll have that sort of energy and excitement and you'll work on something for like a month and you'll put it out you know, and you're all excited to see the finished product. That's how I work and how many other people work as well is in bursts. However, Unfortunately, that's also a problem because, like, I don't upload on a regular basis. And I know that if I did, if I could manage to upload on a regular basis, like once a week, I could probably have a larger channel by now. But that's not really important as putting out content I want to. And having, you know, I don't really care if I have a large channel. I honestly don't care just because YouTube right now is just kind of a place to put stuff like if I make an animation ever that actually is worth uploading that's not 30 seconds long actually less than 30 seconds long I don't I've never actually done good animation just try my hand on that at that anyways so so essentially what happened was is I got the intro like I said life got in the way and to do stuff, I lost interest, and I kind of realized that I want to change what my channel is about. So like, originally, I was planning on starting off with doing some gaming videos and some Let's Plays, and then moving on to maybe some tutorials and skits and things once I got a bit more experience doing scripted stuff. But, it didn't really end up like that. Because I never really had the creative energy to do that all the time. To continue to pump out content. And, I don't know that that's a bad thing. Because it's not really what I want to do. I don't want to be another gaming channel. I more want to do creative things. I like doing original things. I like originality. Like, I like watching channels like The Odd Ones Out, Jaden's Animations, um, and as well as channels like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and uh, Lord Minion 777 slash Wait. Because I like a good amount of variety and original content, but I generally don't watch Probably 60% of the videos that most gaming channels put out simply because someone else has already done that. And someone else has already done that. And someone else and someone else and someone else a thousand times over has already played that game. You know, and yes, it's interesting to see what other people have done with the game, but it's not really that interesting. A lot of times I'll just watch a gaming video or a series because I'm interested in the game 
what someone has to say about it, but it was just someone else playing it. I generally don't find that very interesting. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, is I'm not going to try to do a regular upload schedule until I feel like I can manage that. Until I feel like I want to manage that. Especially since I work in Creative Burst, I more want to use YouTube as sort of like a place to put what comes out of those Creative Bursts, be it an animation or maybe a, um, a gaming video maybe, or if I want to live stream something or do a Gary's Mod roleplay. You know, I want to be able to use my channel as sort of an outlook, and if you all subscribe for the long Let's Plays, you're probably going to find I'm not going to do that. Now eventually I might get back to them, but I don't know that I really want to because so many other people have already done this game and that game, and that's why I wanted to do a lot of the alternative games and show off alternative stuff. A lot of the open source things. However, it's still not what I want to do. It's... How can I put this? It's... I can be a very creative person. You know, I've done a bit of animation, a bit of modeling, a bit of... I, I've even done a bit of scripting and coding, although I'm still trying to learn that because I do have a fair amount of ideas in that area as well. But it's getting time to do it all. Because I could have a million ideas and not have the energy to do any of them. Or have the energy to do all of them and not have the skill to do any of them. Like, for example... I have several coding ideas, but I'm still trying to learn how to program. So I suppose basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm not going to be doing gaming stuff so much. Yes, I'm going to be doing some game videos, but that just basically what I'm trying to do with my channel is changing and obviously I knew it was going to because you know I'm still experimenting I'm still trying out stuff six months in you'd think I'd know what I was gonna do but I don't and that's part of the fun is I want to experiment I want to try new things I I want to express my ideas and share them with people you guys so Basically, I just wanted to sort of expand on some of the things that I suppose I should have explained a month ago, I think. And also, this gives me a chance to kind of do some fancy stuff with Blender and drag stuff around and such. Anyways, um, one more thing. So in my last actual video, the Lightfield Labs playthrough, um, I have a copyright strike on that. Because the creator of Lightfield Labs has some placeholder music in there that isn't technically legally in there, and it's not really my problem because it's in the game. But the problem is not so much the fact that I have it, because it's, I, I understand, you don't want someone plagiarizing or stealing your stuff. But the problem is not, I didn't have a problem with the fact that YouTube, that, I mean, if the guy had gone out and said, hey, what the heck, I would have perfectly understood. But no, YouTube went out and said, what the heck, and just blocked all monetization on that video so the one cent I might have gotten from that it's not much but it's still my money that YouTube would owe me I, I won't ever get it because chances are I'll have to try to figure out how to actually contact the guy because he private messaged me 
you don't get notifications for private messages, so if you're watching this, I can't remember what your username was, please, private messages don't have notifications, so just check the private messages. Um, and I'll be sure to check mine, actually, um, recently, uh, so shortly after this, at least. Um, and I try to check them on a somewhat, not really regular, but periodic basis to make sure, because YouTube is broken. I, 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 I don't even want to go into that. Anyways, the outro music was generously... Um, licensed to me, or not so much licensed, but more just allowed via email by Zalza, and he makes some really, really cool 8-bit and 16-bit just retro music, and he posted that to the Mod Archive a while ago. So I emailed him, figured out who the heck this guy was, so, you know, emailed him, and asked if I could use it. And he said yes, and actually it was a really hard decision between the previous outro song I had, which I really like, and his, and I have to say, I really don't think it turned out how I wanted it to, and I really don't think it fits the channel either. I liked the sort of excited feel at the end of the video that, um, uh, Spectrum, I think it was called, yeah, Spectrum, and that's also a public domain one, which means I don't have to clear up my end card. If anyone wants the link to it, I'll be happy to post it. But I don't have to clutter up my end card and I can put other videos up there or links to people's channels if I do any collabs, etc. And I also like the song and it's also a five minute long song so I can use it like sort of as background music as well if I was in a pinch and I, and I needed something or if I needed to have a long out card. End card. Outro, whatever. So, that's the other thing. So, big thanks to Zalza. I really like your music, but I don't think that one quite fits the channel. But thank you so much for allowing me to use it. And this is going on for 15 minutes recording. I'm gonna do some editing. It'll probably be like 10 minutes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And, um,. I still have no idea what my outro thing is going to be. Thanks for watching.